Basic Examples in Solving Logarithmic Inequalities This is Week 8, Day 3 in our subject, General Mathematics. Logarithmic inequality has also its property. If 0 is less than the base, less than 1, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2 if and only if logarithm of x sub 1 to the base b is greater than logarithm of x sub 2 to the base b. If base is greater than 1, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2 if and only if logarithm of x sub 1 to the base b is less than logarithm of x sub 2 to the base b. Actually, this property shares the same principle with that of exponential inequalities. You have to remember that logarithmic functions and exponential functions are actually inverses. So with regards to the property of logarithmic inequalities, when the base is in between 0 and 1, the inequality symbol is reversed in the process of solving the value of x. Whereas, if the base is greater than 1, there is no change in the inequality symbol used. Here are some important reminders when solving logarithmic inequalities. First, it is only possible to take the logarithm of a positive number. Take note, it's positive number. Why? Because when the number is negative, the logarithm is undefined. It's only that of positive numbers where in the logarithm is defined. So you have to ensure that the expression is indeed defined. Second, the solution to a logarithmic inequality can be written in interval notation. So in this tutorial, we have to solve each logarithmic inequalities. I presented four examples. So be with me as I discuss this one and from that, hopefully, you will be able to answer as well your exercises in there. Let's start with the first item. Logarithm of x to the base 3 is less than or equal to 5. So for the solution, we rewrite first this expression into its equivalent exponential form. The base in the logarithmic form is also the base in the exponential form. That's why 3 is the base in here, 3 is also the base in its exponential form. And 5 here is a logarithm becomes the exponent in the exponential form. If you still have the difficulty in rewriting exponential forms to logarithmic forms or logarithmic forms to exponential forms, I advise you to watch this tutorial, Introduction to Logarithms. There, I presented videos and step-by-step -step process in changing or rewriting logarithmic forms into exponential forms and vice versa. So moving forward, 3 to an exponent of 5 means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and it is, it is equivalent to 243 x is less than or equal to 243. We exclude 0 and all the negative numbers for this expression to be defined. That is why the solution set is from 0 to 243. We use the symbol bracket because 243 is included in the solution set. Why? Because of the symbol less than or equal to. Okay, let's move on to our second example. Logarithm of x to the base 4 is greater than or equal to 3. The same process, we rewrite it to its equivalent exponential form. So our base is 4 and the logarithm is exponent which is 3. That's why we have 4 cubed. 4 cubed means 4 times 4 times 4 and that is 64. So, x is greater than or equal to 64. Therefore, the solution set is from 64 to positive infinity. And we use the symbol bracket in here because 64 is included in the solution set. Take note of the symbol. Is it clear to you now? Okay, so let's move on to another example. We have in here logarithm of quantity 3x minus 5 to the base 8 is less than 2. 
first, we need to ensure that the expression here is defined. Remember, it is only possible to take the logarithm of a positive number. So to do this, we need to set the inequality to greater than zero so that we will be able to find the value of x for which this expression is positive. We transpose negative 5 to the other side, that's why it becomes positive. Divide both sides by 3, cancel out 3, therefore x is greater than 5 thirds. The value of x must be greater than 5 thirds for the logarithm to be defined. Let me explain this further. As an illustration, if x is equal to 2, 2 is greater than 5 thirds or 1 and 2 thirds, right? So we try to replace 2 to our x here. That's why we have this. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 is positive, therefore this is defined. Now, if we use the value x equals 1 and take note 1 is less than 5 thirds, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 minus 5 is negative 2. This is negative. This is undefined. That's why we cannot use values less than 5 thirds. It can make the logarithmic inequality undefined. That's the reason why we need to make sure that the logarithm is defined. So moving on. 3x minus 5 is less than 8 squared. We rewrite this in to its equivalent exponential form. 8 is our base and 2 is our exponent. So 8 squared is 64. We transpose negative 5 to the other side. That's why we have 64 plus 5. We add 64 plus 5, we have 69. To solve the value of x, divide both sides by 3 and cancel out 3. So 69 over 3 is 23. x is less than 23. So the solution set is from 5 thirds to 23. This amending 5 thirds. Remember what we did earlier. We set this expression to greater than 0 so that we will be able to find the value of x for which this expression is positive. And we have come up with this value 5 thirds. That's why we have the solution set 5 thirds to positive 23. We just use the symbol parenthesis. Do you have questions? Just ask me. Okay, so in our last example, we have here logarithm of quantity 3x plus 2 to the base 5 is less than logarithm of quantity 2x plus 5 to the base 5. Of course, we need to find values that are not included by setting each side of the given inequality greater than 0. This is to ensure that the logarithms are defined. We do the process that we had earlier. Let's start with this expression first. 3x plus 2 is greater than 0. Always ni siya nga greater than 0 so that we can ensure that the value of x can make the expression positive or defined. Moving, we have 3x is greater than negative 2. Divide both sides by 3 and cancel out 3. x is greater than negative 2 thirds. On the other side, 2x plus 5 is greater than 0. 2x is greater than negative 5, so divide both sides by 2 and cancel out 2, x is greater than negative 5 halves. We have two values of excess. However, we need to consider which of these values can make the whole logarithmic inequality defined. So later on, we'll take a look back on these values. Let's proceed first. In this step, the bases are the same, so remove the logs. We have our base, which is 5, so that's why we just proceed to 3x plus 2 less than 2x plus 5. We combine similar terms. 3x minus 2x is less than 5 minus 2. And simplifying, we have x is less than 3. Now, the solution set is from negative 2 thirds to positive 3. 
It is not from negative 5 halves to 3. It's because. Let's consider this number line. Recall what we did earlier. We set aside these expressions to greater than 0 so that we will be able to find the values of x for which these expressions are defined. And we have solved negative 2 thirds for this and negative 5 halves for this. Plotting those values in our number line, we have it here, negative 2 thirds and we have negative 5 halves. Negative 2 thirds is greater than negative 5 halves. Now, granting without admitting that this is our solution set, let's try to check. We use the test value x equals negative 2 because negative 2 is still part in the solution for this particular interval. We replace negative 2 to all the x's in here. So we have it like this. Now, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And on the other side, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Simplifying further, negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. While on the other side, negative 4 plus 5 is positive 1. There is no problem on this side since the value in here is positive. Therefore, that is defined. However, the problem comes on the left side. Negative 4 is not positive. The value in this expression is undefined. Therefore, we cannot use this solution set since there are values in this particular interval for which the whole inequality is undefined. So, indeed, our solution set is from negative two-thirds to three. This is a hint for you so that you will be able to know on what value the solution set starts. Set first the inequality to greater than zero so that you will be able to solve the value of x for which the expression is defined and then use that value as your starting point. If there are two expressions like this, i-consider niyo ang duha ka values. Dili pwede nga ang isara. I-consider silang duha. Kay para, you will be able to check and to assure that ana nga particular interval, the logarithmic inequality is true. Simple na sa tao. Pili a og unsa o ginsa. Kay aron sa kadugayon sa inyong panag-uban, dili ka masakitan. Bitaw. So that's how to solve logarithmic inequalities. Good luck, and if you have questions, ask me. I'll be waiting. Have a nice day.